welcome to the world of Micah. I am currently in the parking lot of Disney Springs. We're going to be hanging out here this evening. You and I, we're going to be seeing what's new at Disney Springs. Lots of new things happening here. And I wanted to bring you guys along. Abby's going to be with us. It's going to be a good time. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. If you want to support my channel, down below is a link. It'll take you to my Patreon page now. Let's take a closer look. Went through temperature screening and security check, and I think we're gonna get some dinner at Blaze Pizza. Yeah, I, we haven't had Blaze in such a long time. We haven't been to Disney Springs in such a long time. So I, yeah. I'm excited to be back. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. The sun is starting to set. Just notice that the ticket center is open back up. They were doing the tickets and everything and guest services, but now this is open back up. I don't think I've ever seen Blaze without a line extended all the way out. This is... I know, I've never seen it not have a line. Yeah, this is great. Seems like they have some new offerings here. Cauliflower crust and keto crust. I'm not doing keto, but I am interested in that cauliflower crust. I love this. Build your own, build your own pizza. We're seated outside, which is nice. Weather's pretty nice. Pizza, pizza. Got mine and Abby has hers. I wonder how many people are gonna comment talking about the pineapple. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Yeah. I mean, come on, let's, let's normalize pineapple on pizza. Well, you're the one eating it, not them, so I don't know why they would care, but I got all kinds of stuff on mine. Blaze Pizza was delicious. I think we're gonna walk around and see what all is new here at the Springs. Now make sure you guys pick up your World of Micah exclusive shirt here at Disney Springs. You can see it right there. Make sure you pick that up. That's a World of Micah exclusive. Lots of new things coming to the west side, including Beatrix. That's what's gonna be behind these walls near Splitsville. And right over here was going to be an ice cream shop. Ample Hills Ice Cream was what this was supposed to be, but Ample Hills actually filed bankruptcy as far as I could see online. I believe that's why there's no more signage talking about it coming here. And over here next to Splitsville, you have the new donuts and cold brew place, Everglades. Take a look at this. You can look right on in here as they're making these donuts. Look at that. Fresh donuts. Oh, she's adding the sprinkles. Oh my gosh, that guy is making the frosting for up top. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello! That's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at those. Must resist temptation. So these are all the different donuts they have up here. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Nutella Bella, that's Abby's right there. The Classic Glaze. Chocolate Iced. Ooh, Mound Coconut Dream, I would go for that. Strawberry ice and sprinkles. Oreo Supreme, that's also Abby. Fruity Pebbles, and then there's mine, the peanut butter explosion. This place is cool, man. Directly across from House of Blues, the M&M store, M&M experience, whatever you want to call this, they're just calling it M&Ms at Disney Springs. But I've been to other places where they called it the M&M experience, the M&M store, but this is it. Look at that. All illuminated, different M&M's. Pretty cool, man. I can see behind that sign right there, it says, welcome to M&M's. And then this, the lights and everything keep kind of changing on that. Looks like Valentine's Day. You guys see those hearts in there? Wonder when this is gonna open, hmm. Well, if you can't stand the wait, like it says on the sign here, you can scan this. You guys can actually do this at home. If you hold your phone up to the screen, turn on your camera and let that scan. You guys can scan this and get some exclusive offers. 
see what this is all about. But this is pretty cool, a new nice addition to Disney Springs. M&M's, I can't believe it, coming here. So many people are gonna be consuming M&M's at Disney Springs. It's gonna be crazy. So straight ahead is where Beatrix Restaurant Market and Coffee Bar is going. It's gonna be massive, honestly. Like this thing is gonna be pretty big. I mean, it says Restaurant Market and Coffee Bar. So I expect this to be pretty insane. It's gonna be weird seeing something blocking that view of the hot air balloon over there. But hey, I'm excited to see some new stuff coming to Disney Springs. And a lot of this stuff, majority of this stuff, is coming to the west end side. Looking down here, if you would have showed me this image five years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. You know, Splitsville, M&M's, NBA experience, even this place, brand new. That's progress for you. It's been a long time since I've stepped into the candy cauldron. I just kind of wanted to come in here and see the old hag and the, the details in here. It always reminded me of Snow White's Scary Adventures, especially behind the counter. Doesn't that look like a Disney dark ride? Like everything in here just looks like a Disney dark ride. I really want to ride Snow White's Scary Adventures now. Abby was pointing out these, these Mickey cupcakes. This one looks like a, a pineapple. And if you look over here, that Mickey cookie is actually a pineapple as well. It's amazing, so many yummy treats. Now wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I think that's just, okay. At first I thought that was like a cookie cake. I was about to be like, Abby, get the, <laughs> the cookie dream. cake, yes. I'm a huge fan of cookie cake. That's crazy. When did they come out with Extreme Sours with Stitch? Never seen that before. Normally you see the guys out here making all the treats. They're not doing that. It's kind of a letdown seeing that. Look at this. That's interesting. I think that's coconut right there making the Mickey. There's one cast member in there, but all the apples and stuff you can see are behind the plastic. So I'm guessing they're making them in a special kitchen. Gotta practice that safety. Pretty awesome colors coming from that sunset. Wouldn't you say? A little breezy out here today too. Woo. Went from hot to a little cold for us Floridians overnight. You can see the gargoyle up top. Watching down over us at Gideon's. Just opened right here. Let me tell you, this line is rather lengthy. They'll give you a return time to come basically. You join like a, a mobile type line here. Can't even get in the doors until you have a, a spot. It's pretty good to see a lot of entertainment returning to Disney Springs. the famous Florida Citrus Orange Bird Wall every time I come. And with the sun setting, let's go inside the world of Disney. Because I feel like there's always something new. Wow, they have a whole table full of up merchandise, including this throw blanket. Pillow, socks, bags, everything, man. Adventure really is out there. Dr. Jones has a whole new section too. Look at this sweatshirt. Snakes, why did it have to be snakes? Oh wow, a little Disneyland puzzle. That's cool. Temple of the Forbidden Eye. And a Raiders of the Lost Ark t-shirt. So many things for your pets. It's all themed to cats and dogs. Frames, ears. More frames, kids merchandise. It says, what up dog? I choose you. Our dog George agrees with this. Now that's a pretty cool sweatshirt there. Some sweatpants and look at this. Pluto and Doug and Pongo and Max and Percy and Tramp. Lots of cool things. I like it. I think George would like this stuff too. And just in time for Valentine's Day, they have a whole little line of stuff you can get. That's an interesting, oh, I bet you 
if you, well, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I was thinking put, put them next to each other to make a heart, but it's just, I don't know. It's a little, a little different. We have chocolates, truffles, and solid chocolate card right here. Look at that Mickey and Minnie on the phone together. A little red Mickey shirt in the years. Valentine's Day is coming up. You can get you a little hat for Valentine's Day. Oh, I mean, you can wear that any other time of the year, but especially for Valentine's Day. Now these are a whole new different ball game here. Oh, these guys got their coffee. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like how they misspelt his name. It was for Dan and Donald took it. So many different outfits and accessories for these guys. Now I came here right as this was unveiled. The 2021, 2021 merchandise here at the World of Disney Store. If you guys haven't seen that video and want to see more of this stuff, there's a link up above. Check it out. They have AirPod holders. You can get a Donald and a Mickey. Some pop socket right here. Oh, the pop wallet. Those are cool. Oh, look at that. Little Monsters Inc. phone. I guess that lets you know when it's charged. That's pretty cool. You know, this is actually really cool. This throwback looking Star Wars sweatshirt. I like that. And then putting Pizza Planet on sweatshirts and trucker hats in the store is pretty cool. These were on Etsy forever, and Disney finally did them here. So shout out to the OG Etsy guys who used to do this. I found something I need to get. Pull it back, and it goes. <laughs> you can have your own people mover vehicle going around the house. And they put me and Abby in there. Isn't that funny? I love this. I've always wanted a people mover vehicle. This is so cool. Only the doors would open on the side. Man, this is perfect. I've always been obsessed with the, the people mover. Always just been obsessed with this simple little invention. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? The doors do open. Amazing. Got a little Mickey balloon sponge here and a monorail sponge. I love the monorail sponge. So they have a tiki room apron, and I was hoping it was a table runner so we could put that in our tiki kitchen. But we don't use aprons, and there's no little towel like this. So, bummer. Maybe they'll make a, a, a table runner for it because they really want to get that for the tiki kitchen. Pretty cool seeing all the newer things inside the world at Disney Store. I feel like every time I go in there, I see something new. That's always exciting. The little photo pass area is open now. That's pretty neat. I guess they're still doing photos in here. Right next to Ghirardelli. Yeah, here's a little advertisement for it. Studio entrance to your right. Oh wow, you can download all your photos and wow, that's kind of cool. Through June 18th. So yeah, I was right, they are open. Here at the D-Tech On Demand, inside the co-op, they have some stuff for Valentine's Day. Look at that, some cool new phone cases, even magic bands for Valentine's Day, and some magnets. Got that balloon all lit up. The bottom of it's illuminated, that's cool. Well, we came, we saw, we experienced some new things coming to Disney Springs. It was a lot of fun. I had a great evening and I hope you guys enjoyed watching, but I think our adventure for today has come to an end. Which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that thumbs up button. The next time you're here at Disney Springs, tell them World of Micah sent you. I'm excited for all the things coming in the near future to Disney Springs. I'm curious, are you guys excited too? If so, what are you looking forward to that's coming to Disney Springs? Comment below. See you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.